All right, so we got big surf today, but that doesn't necessarily mean you can't fish bait. So let's see if we can hold bottom with four ounces. Wow, these are big waves. Surprise, we just have like a light north wind. It's like an eight foot swell, holy cow. Let that weight get buried. I might be wrong, this almost feels like a bass. Uh, not with a pole like that. Actually, good eating size. There we go. That's a fish. These are good. I was thinking about doing a catch and cook and it seems like the body of blues I'm into right now are like kind of that large cocktail size, which is perfect for eating. All right, we'll see if we can catch another. Uh, my limit's three, but I think two will do. But I'll see if I can just catch another one just for fun. All right, guys, so these are the perfect eating size bluefish, just that large cocktail size, you know, five, six pounds. Um, so I dispatched of them, I bled them out, and then I scaled them. So I'm gonna bring them home now and clean them up. And if you ever don't have anything to carry back the fish in, this is a great way to carry too. All right, now I'm just gonna fillet the fish up. Pardon the hack job. One fly. Now I find bluefish actually taste better in the spring. And I think that's because they spent, you know, all winter, um, you know, e eating squid offshore, as opposed to the fall where they've spent all summer eating bunker and, you know, subsequently start to taste like them. This guy was a little skinnier than the other. And this knife is way too big for the job, but it's the only one I had at the moment. All right, so I flayed it into loins. You can tell I don't keep fish too much. My uh, Bit of a hack job, but um, I'm gonna put some on the grill now, as well as I'm gonna save some for some tacos for a later date, so let's go to the grill. All right, so this is just a super simple way to grill fish. So I took one of the loins, I put salt and pepper on it, as well as some minced garlic, and then just some pieces of butter. I'm just gonna wrap it in the tin foil and put it on the grill. 
All right, I had it on a high heat for about seven minutes and then I put it up here for about another five, so should be ready. All right, let's see what we got here. Basically the idea is that it just fries in the butter, but on the grill. All right, looks pretty good. Yep, cooked all the way through, nice. All right guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. I'll put links to all the gear I used in the description box below. Also, if you don't follow me on Instagram, please do so. Same name as YouTube, and I'll see you all in the next video.